And tonight, Valley hospitals are acting quickly to make room for patients, and some are returning to delaying certain medical procedures. Fox 5 Drew Andre looked into who will be impacted and is live outside Sunrise Hospital tonight. Drew. Well, Joe, this is just like what happened last summer and this winter when the pandemic was at its worst. Sunrise Hospital has put a temporary pause on all overnight elective surgeries to make more space for COVID patients and other serious emergencies. Keeping beds open for patients that need it the most has been the juggling act through much of the pandemic for Valley hospitals. The wave of COVID hospitalizations has reached its second highest mark of the pandemic in Clark County. At the same time, many patients that delayed non-emergency surgeries early in the pandemic are coming in now. It's not as bad as it was in December and January, but you layer on all the other, and I'm happy that patients are coming back to the hospital and taking care of themselves, but that's added a new dynamic that we didn't see in December or January. At Sunrise Hospital, to ensure bed space and focus on medical emergencies, there's a temporary pause for inpatient elective surgeries. Those are those cases where people have put them on the books, they've been waiting for a few weeks. It's not going to adversely affect their care, but there are cases that we can postpone for a week or two as we see how that bed capacity changes. What are those type of surgeries that right now are, are put on pause? So anything that's outpatient that does not require a hospital bed, we're moving forward with those. And again, all pediatric cases. So they're really more random, maybe some orthopedic cases here and there, uh, uh, some gynecologic care. Mountain View Hospital has enacted their surge plan, canceling overnight elective procedures too, so surgery staff can assist in the ICU. Meanwhile, UMC is making day-to-day -day decisions on the non-emergency surgeries. And St. Rose Dominican Hospitals, where a third of patients are being treated for COVID, are asking doctors to consider delaying overnight procedures too. Dr. Murda says more than 95% of COVID patients in their ICU are unvaccinated, causing much of the strain at hospitals. This pandemic of the unvaccinated really could have been prevented. And I think that's what's really tearing at the hearts of all of us. And this pause on elective surgeries at Sunrise Hospital lasts until August 11th. At that point, they'll reevaluate it too. Another issue is staffing shortages. Just this week, five hospitals in Southern Nevada have reported that they have staffing shortages. Reporting live, I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.